Go ahead, sir. Try it again. Hey, Coach. It's Chris Idell from Harbison Radio in Baltimore. So last year was a tough season. Started off 0-3, and then everything was going well. What did you learn in that process of going win four in a row that almost got to a bowl game? Well, you know, last year was uh, was a, a year of uh, uh, great opportunities for us. And, you know, it didn't start the way that we wanted, but, uh, you know, as a football team, you know, being able to show a response, show an identity, um, you know, it was a – uh, there were a lot of lessons that were learned, and it builds to a lot of excitement for what's ahead. And as we, as we you know, went through this last season and you see the growth, the development, uh, really setting a foundation and um, you know, the, the relationships that, that were built uh, throughout, throughout those experiences and uh, the great number of guys that we have coming back for this, uh, for this season and some of the, the new additions we've been able to bring into our program, uh, you know, it's, it's been a, an incredible offseason. And to see the growth and development of our players, you know, just, um, you know, the confidence that they've shown because, you know, you build confidence through work. You build confidence through experience. And, you know, even last year in times of uh, maybe some disappointing results, you know, the, the belief and the buy-in of where we're going is something that has our, has our players, has our coaches, has our entire program excited for what the future holds. And, uh, you know, I think this, uh, this offseason has been incredible. Uh, guys have done a great job. You see the physical development, uh, the mental development, just the, the, the confidence that, they, that they're approaching every day just to improve and to go be their best. And we talk about that a lot within our program. And, uh, you know, I think our, our football team and the players that we have are doing a great job of, of, of showing that on a consistent basis. And now we have an opportunity ahead. And uh, you're definitely excited about being able to kick off in week zero and uh, just to, to be able to get on the field and to start this journey for this 2022 uh, Florida State football team and, and being able to showcase the identity of, of who we are and what we're all about. Coach, directly in front of you, next question, front row. Coach Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. We know that after this season, divisions are gone and we're going to a 3-5-5 model. Just what you can say about the discussions of that and, and if you were for you know working toward a model that's going to be maybe more advantageous for the future of the college football playoff well you know first off i just want to i want to thank the uh, the acc you know i know michael strickland uh, you know Co commissioner phillips i mean just the the involvement the uh, communication with the coaches uh, the involvement of of, of of all that trying to find the best model trying to be able to to put together a structure and a system that uh, allows it a great experience for our student athletes and and what they're going to be able to accomplish through the th through the 355 model is is something that i i truly think is special um you know to be able to go and play in, in every venue throughout that four-year period of time uh, is unique and it, it, it makes sure it, it it ensures them you know the the complete collegiate experience here in the ACC and then being able to pair up uh, you know the the best two teams within each it within each season to be able to play in a championship game I, I do think is a, a special opportunity and so I do appreciate the the ACC I appreciate uh, you know all the things that, that went uh, into that um, yeah, and just the the collaborative uh, the collaborative of approach that they took in being able to find the best model for the ACC moving forward. Coach Hard right near the sound stand, the gentleman that's standing. Ira Schofield, Warchant.com. Coach, uh, with you playing a week zero game, uh, when will you get started in camp and, and how does that change preparation in any way? Well, you, we actually we report next Tuesday, and so we'll be on, we'll be on the practice field Wednesday, uh, which you know that it is an accelerated process. It is uh, uh, it's been something that you know it, it adds to that sense of urgency. You know, from back in May when we were able to report to, to every day you know, that's that's led up throughout our summer program, and you know our guys they've they've done an incredible job. They've done an incredible job uh, with their approach, but uh, you know we know that. Being able to start off in week zero is something I'm excited about. Uh, it does present some some uh, logistical challenges with guys finishing up summer school and, and different things like that. But um, you know, to be able to, to start the season there at Note Campbell Stadium, uh, it's going to be a great experience. It'll be a great opportunity for our football team, and you know, definitely looking forward to, to be able to get on the field here this next week and uh, and starting that process. Coach, to your left, third row, Bob Holiday, WRL.com. You think about the storied history of Florida State, Coach, you think about kickoffs taken back to the house or dynamic punt returns. You were 10th in kick returns last year and 12th in punt returns. What's the potential to improve in those areas this year, and how important is it? 
Well, I mean, it, it's critically important. And, uh, you know, the, the growth of our special teams units is, is something that, um, you know, that we have emphasized throughout this offseason. You know, I'm excited about the playmakers that we have uh, within our program that, uh, that, that I believe will help elevate uh, you know, that performance. And, uh, you know, it's just you know, the, the opportunity to go out there and execute and, and, and put guys in the best position uh, to make those incredible plays because, you know, that's what we want to be known for. And, you know, when you look at the history of Florida State, like you men mentioned, I mean, this is a program that's built for playmakers, and it's one that, uh, um, you know, th that standard has been established, and, it's, it's, and we're working uh, tirelessly to make sure that uh, we get back to that standard of performance in our special teams units. And, uh, you know, I know our players are excited about the investment we've put into it and, and the opportunity that's ahead. Coach Paul, the center aisle to the right, gentlemen standing. Uh, hey, Mike, Mike Barber from the Richmond Times Dispatch. Uh, throughout your career, what have you found in terms of experience level from your quarterback and how it dictates maybe how quickly you progress through fall camp? You know, I, I think that as you as you watch quarterback growth, I mean, it is a it's the driver of any offense. And um, you know, I'll tell you that uh, you know with Jordan being here and just you know seeing his growth and the ownership of, of this uh, of this position and the opportunity that he has. You look at the growth from this last season. Um, you know, as he went through through the year and just the confidence that, that started to to show up within within all all of the the experiences that he had on the field, the continued growth in in the meeting room and and now. You know, he's making it his and you know I'm so excited about that room and and uh, you know the future that Jordan has because you know that definitely you know, pushes everything within our offense forward at an accelerated rate and so um, you know we had a great spring you know seeing the guys out there this summer and and you know being able to get in the meeting room and just you know, you know hearing the ownership and and the the understanding of what we're trying to accomplish but then still being able to tailor it to the playmakers that we have and uh, you know I think uh, well, you know, we've got a we have a great foundation that's been built but uh, you know I do believe the sky's the limit for what these guys can accomplish because of the work that they put in and uh, and the great talents that they have coach we'll go back to Dan in the front row right in front of you Mike, to take a look at name, image, and likeness, we're a season through it, but obviously there's not a lot of regulation and no central kind of ruling body on how to handle it. So what can you say the message has been to the student athletes at Florida State, and, and how are you handling it? Well, you know, I'm excited for, for the NIL opportunities for all student athletes, uh, for them to be able to to have those experiences, to, to be able to benefit on on the work that they put in and the, and the name and the brand that they've built throughout their uh, uh, their high school and college careers. It, it is it is special for them, and you know, ultimately. You know those opportunities. You know are are you know unique to to each uh, individual. They're they're be, being able to do something that nobody before them has uh, in being able to benefit upon that. You know our thing is we want to make sure that we help educate as much as possible. Be able to provide those resources and and platforms for our student athletes to to be able to dig into and to, to make sure that they're making the most uh, you know well educated decisions on their future on on how they're building their brand, how they're they're you know being able to share the message of, from their platform their platform that they've been able to create and then you know being at a place like Florida State I mean that is it's a special opportunity and you know for them to be showcased the way that they are and uh, you know obviously the tremendous support that we have I mean it's uh, we're, we're excited about the, the the opportunity for the student athletes but I'm excited for where the future of, of, of college football is is going and, and where you know what that path is going to look like as we uh, as we continue to, to, to work down through you know all the the, uh, the new additions within college athletics. We have about five minutes left with Coach. We're going to go to the very back of the room. Coach, she'll stand at the aisle. Uh, I'm Katrina Sacken with Sports and Cultural Media. Coach, you uh, spoke on the um, kind of logistic uh, issues that you were going to face heading into you know week zero. What what are those, and kind of can you elaborate on that as well simultaneously? What are you focusing on with your guys? Well, you know, it's it's about that that constant daily improvement, and uh, you know the the. Some of the logistical challenges are just the earlier start, um, you know, having to having to work through, uh, you know, finishing, you know, summer school classes and and you know some of the things that uh, that have uh, that kind of present themselves with just the, the, the daily schedule. But you know, one of the one of the great things. Uh, uh, 
that has been adjusted and, uh, and adapted with the NCAA this year is we got a couple extra days uh, to be able to, to work with. with um, so now we have 25 practices uh, in a 31-day in a period of time, which is allows a couple more off days. It allows us to, to give um, you know, more rest and recovery for our players throughout that fall camp schedule. And uh, you know, so I'm excited about uh, you know, being able to transition to, the, to that new schedule and uh, you know, obviously just building, building to, uh, to, to being the best that we can possibly be with, with every opportunity that we have during fall camp. And uh, you know, it's going to be a, uh, it's gonna be a great kickoff for us. You know, there's a lot of excitement around the program, uh, but then it also does provide playing week zero. It does provide a couple uh, where we'll have two bye weeks this, this, uh, this upcoming fall. And I, I kind of like how that, um, that schedule presents for our football team throughout the season. Coach, your last question. The very back of the room now standing to the right. Hey, Coach. Luke Winstall, Clemson Sports Talk. So a lot of people talk about expectations right now. For you, how would you describe what a successful season or what your expectations are for success at Florida State this year? You know, we, we have great expectations. And, uh, you know, the, the daily expectation with the season season expectation is for us to, to go out there and be our best, to improve daily, to, to go out there and, uh, and you know, not only be competitive, but to push to push to new limits of where of where we where we are and also where we're going. To see this team come together and to play as one, uh, th those are the things that we've seen that have, you know in laying that foundation this last year and to be able to to see the growth, to see the the confidence that that our players have. Uh, I'm going to put no limits to what these guys can accomplish. Uh, I've got an unbelievable amount of confidence in them, but to, you know ultimately for us, it's about us showing up every single day and going to perform and to execute execute at that level with the, with the, with an incredible level of consistency uh, you know throughout that process but uh, we have great expectations as a program when you're at Florida State I mean that's that's going that's part of it and you you don't you don't choose to come play at Florida State you don't choose to to coach at Florida State unless unless you embrace that opportunity and embrace those expectations to go out there and play uh, you know at, at, at an extremely high level on a day in and day out uh, basis coach thank you we'll let you